So basically, you used to talk about candy and candy. Yeah. But I'm just I'm skimming past. Yeah, we moved past that. You've about. done a year at college. I've done a year at college. You've I've got a lot of ex you've got quite a bit of you experience. Yeah. I stopped working with you. Went into a different line of work. Yeah. For since two, two, 2012. Oh, okay. I was going into that line of work thinking I can do college at the same time. It didn't yeah. work out. So okay. I ended up leaving there yeah. to go college in 2012. Back in the electrical business. Back into and the that's electrical. when you come back working with me then? Yes. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I was working with you. Plus, I was going back on, to, I was going to go on to start working on building sites. Yeah. Because at the same time, the college was asking for us to produce evidence of certain things that I knew we weren't doing with you. Okay. I had to go on to work on building sites, things like metal tr metal trunking and tray, tray baskets, okay, yeah. stuff like that. Right. And um, three phase and stuff like right. that. Okay. So I had to show evidence of that because the course that I signed up to mm. was a... Um, a course for more, more mature students. Okay. And it had an NVQ attached to it, National Vocational Qualification. Okay, right. NVQ, National Vocational, that means that you have an assessor that will come onto your site where you're working mm. to assess your work and see if you're doing it correctly. All of them are, stop to, sorry to jump in on you. I just want to get it clear so our audience knows. So you, you come back, you left your job, what you're doing temporarily, come back in, started working with me, Started going to college again, seriously now, you're gonna yeah. do it. What is it, was it one day a week or? One day a week, I signed up to a one day a week, three year, one day a week course. course. Okay, right. Which was, it was one day a week, but I had to be in the trade. Right, so you had to be working way, in yeah. the trade. So the, for the rest of the days I had to be working in the trade. Yeah, makes sense. As I said, because it was, it had, uh, NVQ attached to it, where the NVQ assessor would come and ass assess the work. Okay. So it was level two, level three now. Yeah. Both into one course. It wasn't one, and then before when I done it, before it was part one, then I had to sign up for part two. Right. This was level part one and part two together. Okay. Yeah. And, and then after and that, NVQ. after after part one and part two, are you then qualified? After part one, part two, and the NVQ. Yeah. You're then considered qualified. Okay, okay, okay. You have okay. to have all your certificates for everything. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, jumped onto that course, 2012. Yeah. It was supposed to be a three year course. Right. It turned out to be a six year course. What? Yes. <laughs> what? Six years? It turned out to double up for me. So, so to, hold up, tell me. So, you were going college solidly for six years? Yeah. No break it, really? I, I'll explain to you how it happened. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Got through the first three years. Right. I've been working on, um, so firstly, what happened was, I found out how to get onto building sites as a mature worker, basically. Right, we'll go, in, we'll go into that later on, cause obviously that will give some tips to people who are matured and want to get into it, yeah? Okay, cool. All right, so we'll go into right, that later so on. I got into that. Um, when I got in, when I started going to college, I was going to college with young people fresh out of school. Yeah. Um, or early twenties, or yeah. my age. Right. And we both we all had different paths of how we got onto the course. Right. For my age group, mm -hmm. we had to pay. Mm -hmm. Um. It was a, it, in total. It was like eight thousand pound. What? I, grand. Right, so I found a organization yeah. that would loan you the money mm -hmm. to do the course <laughs> as a as an adult, as a um, twenty four plus. Yeah. Okay. okay. Twenty four plus student. Yeah. They were, they you could that's when you fit in the criteria to get this loan. Okay. Okay. Found them, got that done. Right. Signed up to the course. Okay. Done the three years. One day a week I was going to college. The rest of the time I got onto building sites, started working on building sites. Right. I was working with you some of the time. Yeah. But then it wasn't constant. So right. I got the building site work. Yeah. Got onto the building site. That yeah. was more constant. Yeah. But in the building site work, when you're working as a uh through an agency as I was, yeah. 
they don't want they don't care for you to be going to college they don't care about they don't you. care about you that's what they're not, you're not their apprentice <laughs> yeah you're not working for them yeah you're an agency yeah so you get onto the course you get onto the job yeah and then you tell the supervisor or the head man director yeah whoever electrical engineer you tell them um every tuesday i have to go to college hmm. and they say all right cool there's no problem then one Tuesday you don't turn up and then the next day they'll be like, today's your last day. Do you get what I'm saying? It yeah. happens like that. So you've already told them, yeah. I'm, you're starting the job. You're yeah. saying... The right. first day I start the job, I get induction. You get induction, yeah. you yeah. have induction, yeah. you get inducted. Yeah. Boom. Now you're going to work on site. Yeah. Now, before I go to work on site, I pull the director yeah. or the engineer yeah. or the supervisor, whoever's appropriate, I pull them to a side and say, look, you can see that I'm out because you got you've got different skill cards to get onto building sites. Yeah. You have to have skill cards. Yeah. Gold card means you're qualified. Right. Before the gold card is a white card. Mm. It's ECS. Mm. Before the gold card is a white card. Mm. And that means you're not qualified. Right. Two different pay grades. Right. So I'm telling them, look, I got the white card. You can see that I'm not qualified, but I'm going to get qualified. I'm going to college one day a week. Yeah. Like, yeah, mate, that's sweet. I mean, that's good. Sweet. That's, yeah, good. Yeah. that's good. You should get qualified, you know what I mean? <laughs> good on you. You know what I mean? Good yeah. on you. Cool. The first week goes around. Maybe you maybe you induct on a Wednesday. Yeah. The first Tuesday comes, you're like, right. The Monday comes, you're like, right. Remember, I said to you, I'll go to college, so tomorrow I won't be here. Yeah. Because I'm going to college. Yeah. All right, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. You go. You come back on yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. They could come to you, you work in a way, work in a way, and then they'll come and say, you know what, we're letting a few guys go. Sorry, you're going to be one of the guys that will let what? go. The first day you go to college, the next day you come in, they're telling you? Could be that, yeah. That's how, how, that's that, how it's happened with me, definitely. What? More than once. But I can't fault them. Right. Because they have, they only go to, they're a company, they've got people working for them already. Mm. Say we're working on that building over there. Mm. They need that particular part of the building to get done mm. quicker, so they put more bodies there. Yeah. That's why they go to the agency. Yeah. They don't so you're go just to the a agency. body. Really. Yeah, exactly. I'm just a body. So they don't go to the agency for you to go to college and get qualified. Yeah. They go to the agency for you to come and be at work yeah. on these specific days. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, the head of the whole construction, you've told as a company, you've told them you're going to have this amount of bodies on site every day. <laughs> That's what the agency has told them. Yeah. 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 No, not the agency. The the company, the electrical company, has told the head of the whole job yeah. that they're going to have this amount of bodies on the job every day. Okay. And if you don't have that amount of bodies on the job every day, yeah. you're breaching your contract. <laughs> Not the fact that they're doing something, the fact that you've got this many bodies. Whether you're doing that, something Whether or not. Whether you're doing something or yeah. not, those are the site. amount of bodies that are supposed to report <laughs> every day yeah. on site. Yeah. Boom. One reason or another, someone might not be able to come in. Yeah. Ill, injured, yeah. whatever else, bereavement, yeah. whatever. Yeah. My one was got college. Yeah. They're like, cool. They weigh it up and they see who's worthy, who's worth it to them. Who's Who going to be there constantly? Who's not only who's going to be there constantly, but who's going to do good work. Okay. So they, they, they add up the two. Yeah. And where they don't know me, yeah. and I've been there for a week, yeah. I could be one of those first to go. Yeah. Okay. Unless. What happened is I'll get certain jobs. So this is this is going through three years of this, yeah. But I'll right. get so I'll be laid off because you've been away at college. You, exactly. So you get so sometimes things work out and you get a little blind. Right. But right. sometimes supervisor will say, "Well, why aren't you going to college on a Saturday? Go <laughs> <Why are you laughs> college on the weekend." Who got college on a Saturday? Right. But there is college on a Saturday. Is there? But yeah, there is. There is. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. But on another, on another time now, they might want you to work on a Saturday. Life so it's all, it's all, sweet, it's all like, it's all a joke because it's, it's never straightforward. But anyway, sometimes I will get a blight because I'll get onto a job, I'll work well. Once the they see you the work, like me. Yeah. they see I'm doing the work properly. Yeah. They see I'm, I'm not, because a lot of people can't read drawings. But I'm going to come into this later. Your work compared to man you meet on site because you told me some stories. Straight. Anyway, go on, Straight. go on. There's some nice stories. Go Straight. on, you go on, Bertrand. So the supervisor will did will determine whether you're worth keeping or not. Right. And what they would sometimes do is say, all right, cool. We're going to go to college. All right, we like you. We like how you work. Mm. But you're not doing a full week. Right. So what we want you to do is a Saturday as well. 
right. to make up for the Tuesday. Right, okay. But then other companies will say, you don't deserve the Saturday. <laughs> you don't deserve. Yeah, you can't do because you don't deserve. Man a on site, <laughs> man on site, work the Saturday. Right. It's extra money, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's, it's um time, time and, and a half. half. Yeah. 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 Or sometimes it's double bubble. Right. And especially they might give you Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. But you have to do five days of the week <laughs> to do this to be eligible to do the Saturday and the Sunday. I think to these guys, Marlon, that's building talk. And that's that's, that's building site talk because I remember man used to say, oh yeah. There's a Saturday in it for you. Yeah. There's a Sunday in it.